Welcome to the video on the reactions of carboxylic acids. The first reaction that we can do with a carboxylic acid is reduction. We can take the carboxylic acid all the way to the alcohol using lithium aluminum hydride. In the first step of the reaction, recall that I told you that lithium aluminum hydride we could think of as an H minus. In this case, the H minus is going to extract the proton from the carboxylic acid, causing the conjugate base to be formed, stabilized by the counter ion lithium. ALH3 is is formed with hydrogen gas. Once that carboxylate is formed, we have ALH3 that's going to form this four-membered ring transition state where we coordinate the aluminum with the oxygen of the carbonyl and the hydrogen with the carbon of the carbonyl. And we end up transferring the ALH2 to the oxygen and the proton to the carbon. The next step is that this negatively charged oxygen kicks down to reform the double bond and kicks out this great leaving group now. That forms our aldehyde, which is our intermediate for this reaction. The aldehyde reacts with a second molecule of lithium aluminum hydride. And remember, I told you, you could think about ALH4 as H minus. And so that hydrogen forms a new bond with this carbon right here. And then the double bond of the carbonyl kicks up onto the oxygen to give us this tetrahedral alkoxide intermediate. In the last step, the negatively charged oxygen of the alkoxide gets protonated by this acid. And we have our primary alcohol. This reaction can also be carried out using BH3 instead of lithium aluminum hydride, and it is chemoselective for the carboxylic acid. And chemoselective for the carboxylic acid means that the BH3 will reduce a carboxylic acid, but will in fact not touch a ketone. See how in the second example, the ketone remains and the carboxylic acid is reduced to the alcohol. I just wanted to point out that when we reduce the carboxylic acid to an alcohol, we are actually changing the oxidation state of that carbon. It turns out in the next section of this chapter, we will talk about reactions where we do not change the oxidation state. So we are talking about maintaining this carbonyl group. So there are tons of reactions that carboxylic acids can undergo that get us compounds that also have a carbonyl. And this is actually called acyl substitution. And we'll get into that in the next video. There you have it, the reduction of carboxylic acids to afford alcohols. Good luck.